Once you have positioned the implant in the abutment, the sleeve can be removed from its collision position with the anatomy. The purple triangle indicates the overlap of the sleeve to the anatomical profile of the soft tissues. You can access the control pad by clicking on the implant. Once you have unlocked the sleeve, you can change the sleeve's position by using the plus key and the minus key, bringing it to position plus two or plus four if needed. Lock the sleeve once again and add the final drill in the appropriate panel. This selection will be included in the implant report. Once the implant is positioned for the design of the surgical template, select the last tab from the right panel and click on the design template icon. The parameters are located on the right hand side and can be set according to your needs. For example, you can modify the gap between the template and the model or modify the sleeve gap to help with the insertion of the sleeve into the printed surgical template and help identify the thickness of the surgical template. Make sure to adjust the parameters according to your printer. You can then draw the path of the surgical template by adjusting the profile along the red markers. Complete the operation with a double click. If necessary, move the markers to improve the shape of the template. After you have designed the template, the software can generate a preview of the surgical template by clicking on Preview Guide. The template can be customized using the function Edit Guide. You can always reset the parameters or modify the template by using the Change Parameters function, using the holes or windows to check its position. Supports can be added in areas where the thickness of the template is too thin. The patient's name or customer number can be added using Place Label. Click on Make Guide to finalize the project 